Hi, my name is Shelley Boyd, and I live in southern Indiana. I am 56, and my diagnosis is specific antibody deficiency. I was diagnosed later in life. Uh, it took over 25 years for my diagnosis. Um, many, many infections, mostly sinus infections, recurrent sinus infections, sinus surgery, um, a multitude of doctors not knowing what to do or what is wrong with me and having to go doctor to doctor to doctor to more doctors and at some times feeling like I'm just give up. Somebody just give me antibiotics to live on, even if you don't know what's wrong with me. But of course, that's not going to happen, not, not without a proper diagnosis. Uh, eventually, uh, I did find a doctor, and an ENT, who was able to take samples from my sinuses and get a diagnosis of the back, kind of bacterial. In this case, it was... Um, a multi, multi-infection, both bacterial and fungal, sent me to an infectious disease specialist, and when she read my history, after having surgery, I had to have surgery, another surgery, on my sinuses for the fungal infection, along with IV um, medications, oral medications. I was very, 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 very sick. Infectious disease specialist went over my history and said, you have had a lot of sinus infections. Have you ever had your immune system tested? And I said, well, I've had allergy tests and I've been on allergy medications and shots for approximately five years um, with the shots and two years with an oral um, anti-allergen. And she said, no, have you had your immune system tested to see if it's functioning properly? And that was actually the first time anyone had ever asked me, is your immune system functioning properly? Have you ever had it tested? And of course, my answer was no, it's never been brought up. In the 25 years that I've been sick, it's never been brought up. So she brought that up, and I was able to find an actual immunologist that goes beyond allergy testing to test my immune system to see if it was working. And of course, the results were, no, it's not working. And of course, further testing from there came up with specific antibody deficiency. But even from that point, going on um, immunoglobulin replacement therapy, my immunologist, local at the time, was young and still didn't understand, why aren't you getting better? It's been three months. He didn't really have any experience except with about three children prior to me, and so his, he, his understanding of what I had was extremely limited. So uh, the, again, the search ended up continuing even after the diagnosis to find someone who could actually offer me some relief. So there is a difference between not getting diagnosed, getting, no, getting diagnosed, and then possibly, depending on your immunologist, finding actual relief. Do not settle for the continuing sentence of, I don't know what to do to help you. Continue your search, get in contact with the Immune Deficiency Foundation. They can help you. They can also put you in touch with physicians that do have more knowledge and do have experience. It was actually through an Immune Deficiency Foundation retreat that I met a doctor who has been working with me and is continuing to work with me to do further testing, uh, to do further work, to help me to find some type of stability and somewhat of a normalcy that we're still working toward, 
don't give up, work toward it, <laughs> set these goals, find a doctor that you can be confident with. Please, please, please don't accept we don't know what else to do for you. There is nothing else to do for you. Please don't accept that. You must keep searching until you find the answers to improve your life or you will continue to suffer. And uh, just one bit of uh, knowledge that I'd like to pass on that all of my doctors and my nurses appreciate very much is I keep a list in my wallet of my diagnosis a list of my medications along with the dosages. Make sure it's current. Keep the emergency, put your emergency contact on there and your immunologist phone number because if you are in an accident, you end up in the ER, you are unconscious and unable to communicate, that is one of the first things that they are going to look through is information in your wallet or somewhere on your person to help them to understand if there's anything they need to know since you're unable to communicate. And I wish you all the best of luck and God bless there are answers out there. Please continue to look for them. Thank you. Mm -hmm.